Hello, Luna. Thanks for bringing my husband's change of clothes yesterday. No, it's not a problem. I'm glad father-in-law looks good. I was surprised when I heard you were hospitalized with a broken bone. I'm sorry to worry you. I think Mike should bring his clothes since it's my son, but he says he can't since he's busy. And Tony has also been busy since he got into a company. I don't really have a license, so I can't go there often. I'm sorry to use Mike's fiancé like this. I'm sure you're busy too, Luna. I know it's a hassle going from my house to the hospital to Mike's house. And you also wash the laundry. No problem. We're going to be family anyways. It's not a big deal. I wasn't sure if you wanted the laundry done. But nobody was home, so I did it at home. No, it's fine, thank you. But the thing is, you folded the laundry a little bit weirdly. If you do it that way, there's going to be a crease. Oh, really? I'm sorry. That's how we did it at my house. I'll show you how to fold the laundry next time. Come here when I'm here. You're going to be here for the next few months anyways. I'll teach you things. Thank you. I'll go when I'm not busy. Hey, Luna. Are you still in the hospital? No, I'm not. I'm back at work. I still have to get some work done. Oh, really? That's a problem. I also wanted to do the shopping. Shopping? Yes, can you do it? I just checked the fridge, and we don't have the car right now. I can't go grocery shopping. Why don't you have a grocery store near the house? About five minutes on foot. That supermarket's a little expensive. If I buy from there, I will be broke. You have to save money. I'm sorry. Anyways, please go shopping. Also, we need rice, milk, eggs, vegetables, and meat. Wait a minute. I can't do it today since I still have to work. Can you please go to the grocery store near your house to get the bare minimum? So you can get some stuff. And then I'll go on my days off. I can't go with heavy groceries. Then ask Mike or Tony to drive for you. Mike's working and Tony's busy studying. He's going to work at the Stanley Heavy Industries. He has to work from next year, so he's studying so hard. Don't get in his way. He can't even go out shopping for an hour? I saw him at the arcade the other day. I'm also busy working. What time is value is different since you're a woman and Tony's a man? Anyways, go shopping. Okay, I'll head over later. Luna, I'm sorry, but can you go grocery shopping and also make dinner today? Today as well? I made some other day. I made food for about a week. Well, the pre-made food, Tony doesn't like them, so we threw it away. What? You threw it away? He said it doesn't taste like the way he wants to do. I mean, it wasn't that great. Can you remake it again? What? It's crazy that you threw it away. Tony didn't like the dishes you made. That's why you make me make food. And you threw it away. What are you doing? Well, I did ask you. But it has a taste the way he wanted it to. Anyways, we threw it away. There are other ways to solve the problem. You could have reconnected or seasoned it differently. And used right away. Oh my. You're saying it's my fault. It's your fault for making a mistake. It's your fault for making something we can't eat. How can you say that? Are you feeling like that kind of food? It's insane. Okay, I'll remake it. How about the money from yesterday? You're going to charge us? You made it not edible food. How dare you? I've been going grocery shopping for a while. You still haven't paid me for that. It can't be helped since there's no car and I can't go to the bank. It's difficult right now because my husband's not here. Don't you have any compassion? But, are you saying he's making excuses? Don't make excuses. That's why women like you suck. I'm sorry. Anyways, it's fine. I'll head over at night. 
Haven't you cleaned yet? The room is so dusty. I did it this morning. I vacuumed. That's all you did? Didn't you wipe the floor? You're so sloppy. Do you do that at home as well? Mike is going to be sick like this. I'm busy in the mornings, and I went there only for thirty minutes. I can't do everything. I went there because you said your back's aching. But ask your son, please. I can't go every morning to clean. There's too much work. How can you say that? Don't you want to help with the house? Am I saying anything wrong? Anyways, work starting. Excuse me. Hey Luna, what is it? I already bought my father-in-law clothes to the hospital. Or do you want me to shop or do the housework? I'm busy working. Also, can it be later? All you do is prioritize work. How can you? I guess I was right. What is? I've been watching you for a month. You are going to break off the engagement. You are not afraid to be our wife. What? I'm disappointed. We thought you were a proper girl, but you can't cook and you can't do the housework or clean. It's insane. And then all you talk about is work. How can you make excuses like that? And even if I ask you to go shopping, you always tell me to ask my sons. You try to make other people do your job. I'm trying to let you work. It's insane like this. I realize that it was our fault for allowing the engagement. What the fuck? I thought of re-educating you, but you keep running to work, so we're gonna have a different woman. You're old and not that pretty, anyways. We don't know if we can see your grandchildren. The reasons for that? You said it was a family meeting. Did everyone agree to it? Even Mike? Yes. Mike always prioritized me. He said he won't marry you if I say no. I see. Anyways, the engagement's off. We don't need a woman like you. Mike needs a woman who is younger and more beautiful, and someone who will take care of us. Okay, if you say so, let's break off the engagement. I'm glad you understand that I'm not going to hire your son. I hope Tony has a good future. What? The job? The offer that Stanley Heavy Industries sent Tony. I'm going to decline it. When we break our engagement, we're not going to be related, so I don't have to do any favors. What are you talking about? You can't do that. Are you mad at us? How can you do that? I can do it. I'm the CEO there. What? CEO? You are the CEO? Didn't you know about it? I told you when I went to see you in the first place. No, that's not possible. How can you be the CEO? Do you even know about the company? It's a whole group. It's a pretty big company. I know about it. I see it on TV all the time. Exactly. The top of the company is my grandfather. He's called Smith Stanley. What? Father-in-law knew about this. Can you about the company and my grandfather? He asked me to hire Tony, so I did that. What? Dad did that? I didn't know that. You thought Tony got in with his skills? He went to a shitty university and didn't job hunt at all or worked. How can you do that? How can you think he was able to get into a company? You must be joking. Father-in-law was worried about Tony, so he begged me to hire him. So I thought I would re-educate him. So I gave him a job offer. No way. How can that be? I did that because he was going to be my brother-in-law. But if you're not going to be engaged, it doesn't matter. No way. Wait a minute. I will accept your marriage. We're not going to break off engagement. Are you happy now? No, I'm not. I was busy as a CEO, and you made me do all the housework and cleaning and shopping. I did everything on my own, and you didn't even pay me for all the groceries. We weren't married yet, and I worked so hard. And you just insulted me, and tried to break off engagement. Why don't you think I would be mad? So I'm saying I'm going to forgive you. 
I will let you marry Mike. I don't need that. I don't want Mike anymore. He leaves everything about his father to me, and doesn't care about his mother stepping over the line. And he is going to break off the engagement. I don't need a man like him. What do you mean you're going to forgive me, anyways? I'm the one that has forgiven you. You haven't even apologized to me. Well, I'm sorry for everything. All you can say is I'm sorry. You can't even apologize properly. Even elementary school can do that. Do you have to worry about your common sense? Shit! I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for everything. Please forgive me. I'm very, very sorry. I'm not going to accept your apology, anyways. But I will accept breaking off the engagement. I will talk to my parents, and we're going to hire a lawyer. Let's make it official later. Also, I'm going to have to get the money back for everything. Wait a minute. We're not going to break off the engagement. I'm not going to do that anymore, and I'll give you the money back. Please. No, I made up my mind. I'm glad it was before we got married. I was able to figure it out with Mike, and you were actually like, or I shouldn't call you my mother-in-law anymore. We're gonna be strangers. I'll call you Rebecca. Anyways, we shouldn't text each other. Anyways, why would I want to text my ex-boyfriend's mother? I'm going to block you. What about it? Bye. Thank you. I'm telling you to wait. I told you to wait. After that, Rebecca was apologizing to me hysterically, but I was not at the company because I knew they were going to come. They came over to the company and waited for me, and they were begging me in front of everybody. But I ignored them and hired a lawyer and broke up the engagement. My father-in-law is mad at Rebecca too. They got divorced. Mike still wants to be with me. But he couldn't pay the rent for the place we used to live together. Tony tried to find a job, but he couldn't decide. The three of them were hated by the neighborhood for bullying me. Everyone laughs at them now. Is there a fall for trying to insult me? After that, I married a man whom my grandfather introduced me. He is so nice and work is going well. I'm so glad I am not related to that family anymore. I'm going to try my best from now on.